Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm back with another video on Yosemite. This one's going to be on Mail Drop. Um, and for those of you that don't know, Mail Drop is um, a service now that Apple is providing to where you can send large attachments um, up to 5 gigabytes in an actual email and not having to upload it to another site or uh, use Google Drive or some other means. Uh, and it's just really helpful uh, for sending large files around to other people. Um, now, my problem with MailDrop was that I couldn't get it to actually send. It would come up and I could choose it as, a, as an option, but when I went to actually uh, send the email, it would kick back from the actual mail server saying, you can't send this, the file's too large. Um, and so this is what I did to get around that. And so first, you're going to want to open up your system preferences. And then over here, you're going to want to click on iCloud. And when this comes up, uh, it'll come up with all of your sharing uh, within iCloud, um, contacts, mail, calendars. And what you want to do is you want to make sure mail is checked both here and also in the iCloud drive. Um, this does matter because I guess um, this is where it, you give permission to mail for, or for mail to actually upload your file into the iCloud site. Um, so what you want to do is you want to click this off, hit done, go back into it, um, click it back on, and then hit done and leave that just like that. Um, if you haven't configured it yet, you'll have to set up an iCloud um, email address, um, and it'll just be, um, usually it's your name, at iCloud.com. Um, and then uh, you're going to want to do the same thing. Sorry, for uh, this right here, you want to click that off, get out of System Preferences, open it back up, go back to iCloud, and then check that back. Um, and then you're going to want to do all of this with Mail Closed. And um, that's so that when you open Mail up again, all of these um, changes that you've made here will take effect within Mail. Um, now, if this doesn't work, um, try restarting your computer. That's what I had to do uh, in order to get everything to work. Um, so that that's one way to fix it. If that doesn't work, um, another thing you might want to check is within mail, open up your preferences. And then you want to come over here to the advanced tab um, of your whichever account you're using and you want to make sure that send large attachments with mail drop is checked if it's not then you're not going to have the feature um, and this was another thing I ran into because I didn't realize this had to be checked and you want to check that off get out of it click it back on and then boom there you should have it um, and then for me I actually had to restart my computer for all of the changes to take effect so you might have to do that. Um, I'm not sure each, I've heard some people say it works, you know, just with quitting, um, you know, your mail app, opening it back up. So if that works, great. If it doesn't, don't panic. Try restarting your computer and then using it. And we'll, and then uh, hopefully that'll work. So I'm just gonna change this here um, to my iCloud and I'll have this blurred out. Um, and then I'm going to actually send this to a Gmail account so that you can see how uh, file drop will work and actually send this to that account. Um, just gonna test and then come over to your files. And this is about um, 80 megabytes, oh there, no, 73. So this is over the cap of what um, most providers would would have um, so once this is up just hit send <clears throat> and as you can see over here there is one outgoing message and okay so it's sent and now you just wait for the file to actually get uploaded to the site 
and then um, that's when it creates the link for um, for the other person to download it into their folder. And as you can see now, I have an incoming message. I'm going to open up my email, and there it is right there. So I hope this video helped. Um, if it did, you know, please like, um, leave any comments if you have questions, and I'll see what other things I can do to help you guys out. Thanks.